Kevin Zinger. You're the CEO of uh, Coda Automotive, and um, you're sitting in front of the, it's called the Coda, right? An all-electric car. What uh, what can consumers expect with this car? What's what's the range? What, what kind of capabilities? Well, consumers can expect uh, an American designed, an American final manufactured all-electric car that's safe, that's reliable, that's priced for uh, an everyday consumer, and that will give them the kind of day-to-day -day performance that they would demand in an all-electric car, meaning performance that allows them on a daily basis to commute to work, to take their children to school, to run their errands, to pick their kids up from soccer or Little League baseball. And to do that, we've built a car where we have, we Coda, have designed the battery system. The key to adoption of all electric cars, we believe, is creating a safe, affordable battery system to have a safe, affordable car. Mm -hmm. And the range that we believe is key to the uh, everyday daily driver is a range of uh, over 100 miles freeway driving. So. Uh, if you look at this car, it was designed so that a person who's driving, and in California the average daily driving is around 35 to 40 miles weekday driving, this car will give them a multiple of that daily driving range. So they should feel very safe, very comfortable, and it should fit their lifestyle. It should be fun to drive, as, as you've seen from driving in it, it gets instant torque from an all-electric motor. Very simple to maintain because there are very few moving parts, unlike a gas combustion right. engine, which obviously frequently costs us money to repair. This should be very simple to maintain and not require any repair. Uh, and you know, it should be value for your money. So yeah. th that's the car. Right. So you were saying earlier a range of about 130 miles. I mean, you said multiples of. So but yeah. the highway range. Yeah. Uh, to be very conservative, meaning you're driving at 65 with your air conditioning or heating on, you'll get 90 to 100 miles, okay. probably more like 100 miles. Uh, in the city, you'll get 120 to 130 miles with this car of stop and start driving. Okay. Now, if someone's thinking about buying one of these cars, I mean, I guess the expectation is they're going to be more expensive than a, a gasoline car because of the battery systems and because it's new technology. Um, how would you recommend uh, someone making that calculation? Is it gonna be cheaper to drive overall? Um, do you expect subsidies will kind of even things out anyway? I guess who do you think is gonna buy it? For a car like this, I think the subsidy period needs to be fairly short. And there are already federal and state subsidies to help make the car cheaper. So say this car is in the mid to low 30s for a, uh, a buyer. I think what the buyer has to do then is look at how many dollars they take out of their wallet per month, right? And to do that, you have to understand how am I financing or leasing the car? What's the cost of gas of a comparable car versus cost of electricity? What's the cost of maintenance of this car versus a, a gas combustion engine car? And I think if they actually look at that in terms of monthly payment, and when a customer comes in to buy a Coda, we have a series of applications that take them through that total cost, allow them in a transparent way to uh, compare that cost to a gas car. They'll actually see value for their money. They'll see that this car has a you know, value of a car, when you look at those savings, uh, value of an internal combustion engine car that's in the uh, mid to high 20s. Hmm. Okay. And I think a, a value that is greater, for example, than a hybrid like a Prius. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well. The, so, why did you go all electric rather than a plug-in of some kind? Why? Why is that better than than well, a plug? Well, you know, because there are advantages to a to a hybrid, right? Longer range. The team that we have that's come together as an American team of innovators, they have worked the last years all out because we believe that we need to free ourselves from foreign oil dependence, and to do that, you need to have introduction of a new technology that can have a dramatic impact. All electric has a dramatic impact. 